Hello everyone, welcome to IPO Market Watch. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. So we're going to talk about a stock that is beating the market. It has been beating the market all year long. If, if you go back one full year, any, any way you look at it, 2021, just look at the entire 2021, it's constantly beating the market. And while many people have been suffering in the stock market for the past months, six months, whatever, if you had just stuck with this stock, starting January 1st, I'm not talking about crypto, I'm talking about a stock. If you had just stuck with this and just write it out the whole year, you'd be better off, right? Uh, of course, it's easier said than done, but um, yeah, so I wanted to share that with you. Um, this is the stock that we talked about on Patreon. So I have a channel on Patreon called Bull Market Watch, and we talked about this many, many months ago. And then we also talked about a second stock. I'll show you a bonus second stock in this video also towards the end. So two stocks, one that we'll focus more primarily, and then the second one, which you already know about, but let me remind you. And to get to a point at the end that I'll tie it all in with one message, one point that I think that we should all think about. We're gonna talk about customers, Bancorp Incorporation. C-U-B-I is the ticket symbol. This was under 20 bucks. It was actually around 14, 15 US dollars when it started in January, let's say. Um, it is now at 59.95. When I will publish this video on YouTube, it will be later on today. So the price will be different because right now that I'm recording the video, um, it was yesterday. It closed at 15, let's say 60 bucks, right? So today, I don't know what it will be when the video comes out, but it doesn't matter. Um, so it's up $41, nearly $42, except $41.94. So let's say 42 bucks, it's been up this year. But what makes this stock attractive? Why should we should continue to talk about this? It is an attractive stock. By the way, if you want, you can join me on Patreon or become or if you want to see the videos that are on Patreon, you can also see them, you either join on Patreon or you can see them by clicking the join button, which is under the video, uh, this video where you, where you become a member of this channel. Uh, so Customers Bank Corp is not over with. It's, at, it's, it's nearly at 60 bucks, but it's not over with because there's something big that you should know. So here's a, a screenshot from Bull Market Watch when we last talked about it, it was a 34.77. I actually talked about, I actually mentioned this actually at an even lesser price. But at 34.77, I said I don't have time to make a video for this stock today, but I will have it ready tomorrow. Is what the message I had left back then. It was in May 12, 2021. Please note this company is a beautiful long-term buy and hold stock. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Okay, and I left some extra information such as customers bank corp. Even after a massive run, strong financials are likely to drive continued outperformance. And it's not just about their strong financials. It's about their blockchain move. Yes, you heard it right. Customers Bank Corp, this bank is making big, big moves in the blockchain arena. And this stock is going to be worth even more in the years to come. So let's look at this. Customers Bank Corp, adding blockchain to accelerate growth. So core loan growth continues to increase at an accelerating pace, which is awesome. Triple P loan forgiveness is likely to drive additional earnings and provide excess capital. So when it comes to the banking landscape as a whole, there has been a tremendous amount of change over the past five years. Uh, banks are looking to speed up growth and to be able to survive in this very competitive landscape. So now, the mo now that most of the triple P related tailwinds are behind the banking industry, it's transitioned to offering a blockchain based payment processing system. So Customers Bank Corp is going to be offering, is transitioning to offer a blockchain based payment processing system. This stock was already stunning stock, an amazing company to own. Imagine now with this move. So on top of that, the recent hires in its new, once again, tech focused commercial lending should provide additional balance sheet. So this company is focused now, this bank is focused on lending and giving money out to tech focused startups, right? And that is something that I've always talked about for, since last year that I created this channel. I did mention many times in various videos that if you can get your hands in the companies that lend the money, that give financial support to tech startups, you are situated, you are situated uh, to gain and to be in better control of what's going on in the markets. Imagine Sequoia Capital, for example. Sequoia Capital funds and lends and invests in companies that are going to be the future game changers, right? Well, instead of trying to find the game changer and, and, and buying that and trying to invest in that, why not go to the source that 
the you know provides the financial support to the possible game changers and that's what customer bank corp is transitioning to and it, it was already a stunning company before now with their blockchain instant uh, uh the blockchain uh, based payment process system called customers bank instant token is what it's going to be called customer bank instant token cbit uh is going to drive this stock higher uh their uh focus on tech folk their focus on uh lending to tech focused uh, startups is awesome um, now the three new areas of growth will be called digital asset banking technology and venture capital banking this is all this is it. it's a game changer this stock is one of the greatest stocks to officially own it was awesome before even at 60 bucks it's still awesome to own all right so customer uh, customers bank corp stock climbs to new record highs after fintech re rebranding all right and it says here customer bank shares jump 5.6 percent to new all-time highs as it rebrands to a fintech forward focused banking institution with the corporate name staying the same right the name's going to stay the same stock's going to the stock tip is going to be the same but they're now fintech forward focused banking with blockchain also the uh, uh just it's just a stunning company next the bonus stock that i promised you was canon holdings we talked about canon holdings before last time we talked about canon holdings and i'm, I'm mentioning this for a reason i'll tell you why, I, why i'm mentioning this we talked about canon holdings on youtube when it was 24 us dollars 24 bucks 24 this year it was in 2021 24 bucks and now it's at 45. when i talked about it at 24 when I mentioned this stock at 24 US dollars, there were I don't know who it doesn't matter. It's not it's not a it's not I'm not trying to criticize the comment. I'm trying to uh, get to a point. There were comments. There was one or two I think people. Uh, one said no, this is horrible. The other person just said the volume is so low you'll never be able to sell this. It's a trap. Don't get in this. All right, no, it's not a trap. This is not. This is a real serious company. First of all, it's a really serious company with serious serious investments. And yes, you can sell. At 24, I purchased many shares of Canon Holdings and I just recently sold half. Yes, it was hard to sell. I get it. I wasn't able to sell my shares in the same day. I was able to sell them the next day. It doesn't matter. I still got, I still sold it at the same exact price, nearly the same exact price. Um, it, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a stock to fear. It has low volume, but you know what? That's, sometimes that's to your advantage, right? Uh, that keeps the stock, you know, if the low volume is more of a buy volume, then that's perfect. Uh, so anyways, this is a very serious company. Yes, you can sell it. It is an awesome stock, stable one all year long. You be, you're gaining with this. Uh, and here's some news about Canon Holdings. Canon Holdings has two main holdings. It has Zim Integrated Shipping Services, a container line, and OPC Energy, which is a green energy producer. So they're heavily focused and invested in those two. Well, how can they not do well? I mean, look at Zim Integrated. Zim Integrated went from 14 bucks when it IPO'd this year to $52. And that said, these are stocks that have been beating the market. CUBI and Canon Holdings. Bank customers, Bank Corp, Canon Holdings. These two stocks were, I'm sure, were by 95% of the mainstream investors can, would have considered them. If you would have told them in the beginning of the year, get this, buy into these, they would have, they would have called you, you're old-fashioned. These are boring. This is this and that. But you know what? At the end of the year, you stand to gain so much, and I have, I have gained so much from these stocks that have actually helped me out a lot this year. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you all the best. Take care.